Hey guys, Icon here from Voclia Music. In this video, we'll be using one of Native Instruments' latest expansion packs, Soul Magic, to make a beat. This pack comes with great high quality punchy drum samples and super presets for some of Native's best known synths like Monarch and Massive. First, we'll lay down some drums and then play in a sub bass and pluck part, and then we'll move on to experimenting with launching chord samples with pitch control. We'll first show the whole beat and then break down the process in Ableton. Hope you enjoy. We want the beat to have more of a triplet swung kind of feel and the best way to get this started was using a swung shaker loop so here's how that sounds. And then for the drum kit we're using the What A Day 90s kit from the new Soul Magic pack. You don't necessarily need battery to use these samples because they also come as WAVs when you download the expansion. We've chosen six sounds from here and mapped them as drum triggers in Doubler. So here's how that sounds. And here are our settings in Doubler. Punchy drum samples, perfect for a big beat. We'll lay down each part one by one to make it easier to program on the go. The next sound is a sub bass, and for this we're going to go to doubler, turn off our triggers, enable controls, and we've selected a custom scale because our bass line only has about five notes. And this is the defined sub preset that comes with Soul Magic, and after the bass we've simply put LFO tool to sidechain it to the kick. <laughs> When you download the Soul Magic library, you get all the samples as WAV files as well, like I mentioned before. So here in the One Shots folder under the library, if you come to chord, there are synth chords, piano chords, Rhodes chords, guitar chords, and lines. What we're going for right now is putting these chords on their associated root notes. So for example, if we have an A minor chord, that will go on A in our drum rack, so that we can launch the chords by using pitch controls. So when I sing an A note, I want that A minor chord to play. Or for example, if I have a D chord here and I put it on the D note in drum rack, when I sing a D with doubler, I want to launch that chord. What we did was we chose around six, seven chords from here, put them with their associated notes on the drum rack. And then in doubler, we created a new profile and only chose the notes that we have our chord samples on. Here are the chords we chose. So what we did with this one was we just copy pasted this one over and just brought it down a couple semitones. We added this echo boy delay after the drum rack so that the samples don't just cut off instantly, we want them to fade out. The third sound is a mallet that we use for some melodic percussion, and this is the big thummy mallet preset that comes with Soul Magic. All we've done is basically added an echo afterwards and messed with the macros of it. You can change the tone.
find somewhere good from there and quantize. Ooh, that's a good loop. And here's the final result just one more time. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section and we'll get right back to you. For more information about Doubler, head to voclia.com and definitely subscribe for more videos. See you next time.